Hey guys, so I want to talk about this add-in BIM to be and it's a autosave add-in. I'm gonna close that real quick. So <laughs> you can get this from the app store and it seems to be totally free. Um and it's kind of cool. It adds it here and in the file and then options drop down, you'll find it that it adds a new tab within here and then you can then edit some of the settings or you know the location how many um, number of backup files stuff like that and it seems to be pretty smooth um, I haven't noticed while working in you know whatever the model is I haven't noticed too too much of a a lag in the performance because you know I mean even in AutoCAD with the autosave it's 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 it was nice but then if you got into a really large uh, set of um, DWGs, you would start running into some uh, autosave problems where it would lag every five minutes or you know 10, depending on whatever your settings were. And I haven't noticed that too much yet, but then again, I haven't had the tool very long. And so it definitely could be something um, that could happen obviously uh, if it's doing you know some type of processing in the background while you're working in a large model you may run in, into some lags and um, I have yet been able to say anything on that so but for now it seems like a cool free tool to at least play around with um, you can open it up here and what's going to do is pop this window but if you just come down here you'll have all your settings <coughs> you can save it into a project folder or it's you know going to default your folder location to your temp um, folder a reminder for unsaved files so if, um, so that's nice and then keep auto save files checking for uh, for updates automatically I guess and then you're uh, up here at the top we have auto save intervals so every five minutes and number of backup files so um, you know every time essentially when it gets up to three it's just gonna copy over and you know over I assume the the oldest one and kind of keep doing that so that you have the latest and then the previous versions before that two of the previous versions so uh, I say you know I recommend checking it out and I do want to give credit to Dan Stein's post um, I actually saw this it's it's pretty old and but the tool seems to be updated for the 2019 Revit I, I'm not sure if they've updated it for the 2020 version yet um, but I'm sure that's gonna happen but you can read more of it he about read more of it here or you can check out their website and they have some information there as well about how it works and, and just some generic information about the file types and whatnot so hopefully this little tip helps you out uh, maybe it can prevent some big uh, data losses um, I've yet to need it for that luckily um, but I'm hoping that when that time comes that this tool is gonna help me out so check it out see if there see if it runs really well see if there's any any problems uh, let me know if you run into any problems using the add-in, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.